Thousands of protesters staged a demonstration in Thailand on Sunday, defying the Thai government's ban on gatherings for a fourth consecutive day. Apart from the release of protest leaders detained by police, demonstrators demanded the removal of Prime Minister Prayut Chan O Cha and reforms to Thailand's monarchy. Demonstrators who gathered at the Victory Monument in Bangkok on Sunday were seen holding placards with the faces of protest leaders who were taken into custody by Thai police. These include three prominent names that have publicly called for reforms to Thailand's monarchy, namely human rights lawyer Anon Nampa, Parit Penguin Chivarik, and Panusea Sithijir Vatanakul. Massive protests broke out across Thailand after what has been perceived as the government's high-handed approach to dealing with demonstrators. An unknown number of protesters have been arrested since Tuesday after demonstrators surrounded a royal motorcade and flashed democracy salutes at Queen Suthida. Reports suggest that two activists have been charged under a law banning violence against the Queen and can face life in prison if convicted. The use of water cannons to disperse unarmed anti-government protesters has further dented the Thai government's image. In a statement, Thai Prime Minister Prayu said, protesters must exercise their rights under the law. His spokesperson went on to say that the government is ready to listen to all people. News agency AFP quoted the spokesperson as saying, adding that the government worries about elements who intend to create violence. The protest movement started in July of this year with participants, mostly youngsters, demanding the removal of Prime Minister Prayu Chan Ucha. A former military chief, he was appointed to the top job in 2014. Demonstrators are also seeking the removal of a draconian royal defamation law, which shields King Mahavajiro Longkorn from criticism. They have also demanded that the monarchy stay out of Thai politics.